Hello, I'm Oliver from Car Chat TV, and today's video, I'm going to be talking everything current car news. Now, if you do like the video, please give us a cheeky thumbs up. Maybe you want to do it now. Hey, I don't know. Give us a comment and please subscribe. It allows us to do what we absolutely love, and that's make content for you guys. So a cheeky little subscribe would be perfect. Right. On with the news. Okay, first up, let's find out what some manufacturers have been doing in today's climate. Now, the majority of them have shut up shop, stopped production. Some haven't. They have been aiding the fight, helping out the superheroes of the NHS, doing numerous things. So I'll tell you what, let's give them some props and find out just what they've been doing to help. Tesla, the world's electric car pioneer they have donated 1255 ventilators to new york hospitals and they've also written a statement saying they're working on developing their own ventilators in the near future mercedes they have already made an approved ventilator system that's out there already helping in our hospitals coronavirus sufferers without them needing to go into intensive care toyota Honda and Vauxhall have all said that it turned over some of their UK production facilities to aid the fight in Corona to help build ventilators. And also Vauxhall have said they're gonna continue their roadside assistance scheme to help NHS key workers get back on track. So if you drive a Vauxhall and you break down, do not fear, Vauxhall have got your back. Now Land Rover, they have given away 160 vehicles. 27 to the British Cross of brand new Land Rover Defenders. And not only that, they're making sure their British facility is gonna build 5,000 face shields per week. That's gotta be worth a high five. A two meter apart air high five, obviously. Now, SEAT, they have confirmed that 150 staff members have been working on 13 different prototype ventilators. They've been made from repurposed car parts, mainly from 3D printed gears and windscreen wiper motors. Still yet to go through medical trials to see if it's safe for corona sufferers. Aston Martin may need even more cash even after bailout, bailout, bailout from billionaire Lawrence Stroll, also known as part owner from the Formula One Racing Point team. He's injected over 500 million pounds into Aston Martin, but they have said the coronavirus has created an increased and unquantifiable uncertainty in their business. Which means, ah, we need some help. New prototypes of the BMW 5 Series facelifts have been revealed, caught before the launch later on this year. Now it's the first time we have seen the updated touring variant being road tested. Now there's, like the saloon, there's only a subtle few tweaks to the rear and the front of the car. Now the hybrid version, we can tell specifically because of its bespoke front bumper. Changes to the front are redesigned headlights. You've also got uh, a more structured front bumper with new air vents and curtain vents towards the outer edges of that bumper. As well, rear, we've got subtle changes to the styling, to the tail lights, the tailpipes, and the rear bumper too. Also, the 5 Series is supposed to have a new digital instrument cluster to its infotainment, which I cannot wait to see. The British Grand Prix, located in Silverstone, my hometown, I'll have you know, they have, might be called upon to host multiple Grand Prix. We all know the coronavirus has killed off the first eight, is it, Grand Prix? So they're still Formula One correspondent said, I think from 15 to 18 races, they're still looking to have in this current season. Now it kind of makes sense to host multiple Formula One Grand Prix at the Silverstone circuit, because if we look logistically where the Formula One teams are, they're not far away. They're pretty close, most of them to the circuit. So they could hold multiple races. They've got the infrastructure to do it, we're going to wait and find out to the end of April, even if the 19th of July British Grand Prix is going to go ahead. So let's find out, hopefully then, if the British Grand Prix, Silverstone, is going to have more than one 
Grand Prix. Wouldn't that be fun? Ken Block shreds his Toyo tires in his Ford Escort Mark II. Jim Carter Grid is back this year. It's happening in November in the United States of America. Ken Block took to the Burnyard in his 1978 Mark II Ford Escort to have an absolute blast. In this clip, you can see Ken Block, just like his surname, he's got a blocky wide boy body kit on that Mark II, which I'm a particular fan of. And in this clip, you can see him burning those Toyo tires off doing 9,000 RPMs. Wow. And now, time for some celebrity gossip. Good mate of mine, you may know him as Chris Brown, taught him a couple of moves. You can probably tell from that aggressive dance move right there. Anyway, his Lamborghini Aventador SV has had a massive visual upgrade from the guys at RDB in LA. They, on top of that, he's had the Liberty Walk limited edition wide body kit. Try saying that fast. He was chatting to me, he was like, Oliver, I was thinking about going from like a sort of a black and a white kind of wrap on the car. I was like, no, no, that's old school, Chris. Go for a purple at the front, blended gradient to a teal. So you'll see the car on your screen right now. He has gone, with my advice, he's gone purple to teal. It's also got Novatec suspension on it as well. Give it that little bit more aggressive look and a custom exhaust, which lets out a colossal, insane scream. Another one of my ideas. You're welcome, Chris. And there it is. That is your car news, everything current happening right now. Now, I hope you have enjoyed it. Drop us a subscribe, like, comment, and we'll see you on the next one.